you guys! Look! Look! Look at our beautiful eel! And look at our beautiful grouper! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that we're able to do this! And look at our tiny little itty bitty fish! Our little orchid cichlids definitely need something more to them. I can't believe this. We are in first person. Look at this! We can walk around and actually look at everything up close. I had no idea. There is Zach! Hey Zach, how are you doing, buddy? Oh my gosh. You guys, hello and welcome back to Meg Aquarium, where I am still a little bit wet behind the ears, but we are starting to put things together. And I have escaped my raft with the chomping bites of the great white shark that is constantly following me to spend some more time with some more scenic of our ocean animals, some more little fish. Oh my gosh, I am really excited about all of the new skills that we are learning. And I really want to improve this little tank because I feel pretty bad when like you get down there and you actually see how little is in the tank. I'm like, oh my gosh, we need to provide something more for these little guys. Uh, oh, the rocky overhang. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if I can replace some of the driftwood that we have in here with the rocky overhang instead. So I wonder if I can just come on in, remove those, and then put in a big old rocky overhang. Oh, they love it! Yes! That is so cool! And then I also want to add in some nice pretty plants, because I'm all about the plant life here. Uh, ooh, 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 can I put in, can I put in oh, the kelp? Oh, I can't! I think kelp needs like a really big deep tank, and we haven't figured out how to build those just yet to like really get the tank walls to go up, but maybe with time we will be able to accomplish that. But all right, friends, so we're still working on figuring out how we can go ahead and we can try to uh, just gain enough skills to get upgraded to a new aquarium. Oh, we have a couple messages. <gasps> Sihara has grown to level nine and interested <gasps> in some decorations. Howdy, I found a load of junk washed up on the seafront. I thought you might be able to use it to decorate some of your tanks. Like heck, I would love that. There's seashells and barrels and an anchor. Just let me know if you, uh, just let me know if you manage to create something with it, I could probably supply you with more. Okay, so we want to build a tank with one conch barrel, anchor, and shell, and we unlock decorations. Are you kidding? Of course I'll take those off your hands. Our coral groper has gone ahead and grown up, and we have some decorations. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, where's my decoration? Oh no, I got too excited and I accidentally like did something silly with it. All right, so now I have one of the decorations. Oh geez, okay. Yes, we put it back there. Okay, so we have an anchor. Then we have little shells. This is so fun. I can put the shell over there. Uh, let's see, I have a barrel and the barrel goes in the tank. <gasps> the barrel goes in the tank. Let's put it in here and then a shell. I love shell collecting. It's one of like my mom's biggest passions in life, so I always get super pumped about getting new shells. <gasps> you have a talent! Wow, I'm impressed. When I look at the tank, I'm just transported into another time. This morning, actually, when I found the pile of junk by the beach. Now that's art. There's plenty more where that came from. I'll supply you with as much as you need, subject to a small handling fee. I also have some paint available, which you can use to decorate your floors, walls, and tanks. You'll find it all in the decoration section of the build menu. Oh. My. Word. I have like tears in my eyes of sheer excitement right now, guys. All right, let's see, let's toggle tank capacity. And I can actually see guest needs. Oh, this is so cool. I'm starting to finally figure out like how to be a good fish fish provider. Um, so we're, here they are. So here are the, oh, look at all those barrels and shells. Yes, oh my gosh, I am so pumped about being able to put in decorations all over the place. This is awesome. Uh, and then the paint, so shipwreck paint and tropical beach paint. <gasps> okay, I wanna see the shipwreck paint in this whole section. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. That is so cool. Paint these walls up, like, let's do this. Oh my gosh, and now we have a large filter, sweet. Let's go ahead and start working on the other filter that we need. And can I paint the walls? <gasps> This looks so cool! Oh my gosh, and now the tank is painted too! Okay, you know what? I love this so much. 
let's do all of it. I wish there was an easier way to just like cover all of this. Is this costing me money? Not really, actually. So we are actually retrofitting this whole place. Now it looks kind of like my raft and raft. <laughs> oh, it really does actually, that's hilarious. Okay, let's get in and get all of this flooring. Just all the way out. There we go. I've even painted the entryway. We have completely redone all of this. We've got the walls. Look at this, I love it. We've got the doors. We've got all the tanks. There, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, I'm very happy about this. Now, while we're in here, we actually can make a little bit more space and get some more pumps going so that we can take better care of the animals um, because I'm noticing we need to filter some things a little better. So let's try putting one of the, oh, let's try putting this down right here. Boom, so that should start filtering that a little bit better. And then this one also needs a better filter. So we're gonna come back and let's expand this area for our staff, which I will have to paint shortly. I kind of wish like this, I, I might leave the staff areas blue in the future, just cause it's kind of fun and easy to take care of. And we're gonna put a large filter back here cause I still don't know how to expand the tanks, unfortunately. All right, and we have some more messages. Oh, Zebra Mori Il 3 has now grown, which means I need to pull up one of your guys' names from our random comment generator from the comments y'all have left to name our Zebra Eel, because I'm really attached to the Zebra Eels at the moment. Uh, so let's come in and name her. And this Zebra Eel is now going to be known as Analia. After Analia Valstad, thank you so much for your sweet comments. I'm really glad that you're enjoying all of our adventures. There we go. And then let's come on over and let's see. I kind of want to like name these tanks something cool. Maybe even after you guys. All right, this is going to be the Pingu tank. After uh, like Pingu Penguin. Pingu Penguin. Because I just love having a uh, Penguin. What the heck? <laughs> Gwen, I, I wonder if one day you'll be able to add in penguins. That would be amazing. I just love having you guys added in. You know what I mean? It makes everything feel more alive. And like, you are right here with me, as you are, working on advancing. Oh, that's much better. This is so cute. Working on advancing what we can do in our little area. Okay, and the flame angelfish has now grown up. Excellent. Anything else? Decoration delivery, crabs and more. Okay, yeah, we got everything, I'm pretty sure. Did we? Yeah, yeah, we did. Wait, no, pumps. Okay, yeah, we already got the pumps. All right, we're good there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe hire another person and we'll hire one of y'all. Let's see. We're gonna have, oh, Kiwi! Kiwi Shade, who leaves such sweet comments with tons of cool animal facts. Kiwi Shade, you are gonna start coming. Oh, this is, after three years of mucking out land-based animals at the zoo, is the fancy to change? This is gonna be you. We're gonna go ahead. You've got some cleaning and some feeding to work on. We're gonna hire you. Gonna come on over. And I wonder if I can just go ahead, hire a zone, feeding, cleaning, talents, advanced disallow repairing so that you could just focus on feeding and this is now going to be kiwi after kiwi shade who leaves a fun fact on every single one of our videos it seems which is just fantastic i love it and i really appreciate that kiwi keep it going all right so now that we've got all of that lined up I really wish I had designed this area to be a little better for expanding tanks, but we're only here for a little while, so I didn't mind being kind of cattywampus chaotic <laughs> with uh, whatever they wanted me to do here. I think we'll put in maybe another tank back here because I really, really want the hermit crab. And we're kind of far from accumulating everything that we need. So let's expand this way. And then let's go ahead and we're going to expand this way. 
And my goal is to maybe put a, yes, we unlock the large heater. My goal is to maybe put like a corner tank. How do we do a corner tank? Okay, so that's what the corner tanks look like. And I think I can just slide it in over here if I'm careful. Okay, so I want maybe a corner tank right here. Corner tank. Nice, okay, so I can make a corner tank right here. And then I wanna come over and put in another big tank back here. The wall tank right here. Sweet, okay, so now we've got a couple tank areas set up. Let's expand this way. And I wanna put in a nice, big, beautiful lagoon tank. I think we need to expand just a little bit more. I wanna have like a nice, big, beautiful lagoon tank right here. Yes, and then we'll see what we can stick over there. And that means that I'm probably gonna need some staff to be able to like reach a little secret staff room that we'll put over here with a pump to be able to reach all of that. And then while we're like over here, we'll decorate this spot like through the walls here. I think this is all gonna be like a sandy zone, which would be really fun. So who do we have that we could use to entice people? Well, the ecology points really go up with the yellow tang and the yellow tang are pretty cute. Uh, who else gives us a lot of ecology points? <gasps> We have the hermit crab! Yes, that is who I wanted. That is really who I wanted. And the longhorn cowfish is armored, so it will have an effective size of eight when calculating whether or not a predator can eat it. So it can hang out with a ton of our other predators, which is really cool. Maybe once he gets big enough, we can put him in some of the other areas. But come on, the squirrel fish, the rabbit fish, how ridiculously cool is that? So dislikes food competitors cannot be housed with other species that eat green pellets, noted. Um, and then cockles. Okay, so the cowfish eats cockles, which is another type of food we'd have to provide. Holy cow. Uh, let's see. And then the fox face rabbit fish would give us some prestige. So we're going to go ahead and research the fox face rabbit fish first, because that just sounds awesome. And I want this hermit crab! Oh my gosh, I am so excited! Our very first hermit crab! This dwarf species is a real gem, a hard-working scavenger who plays nice with other tank, ma tank mates. A group of these hermits make an ideal tank cleanup crew. Okay, how many can I add? Because they sound absolutely precious. Okay, we have a couple of them. Size two. They're so cute! I love them! They will actually uh, be a scavenger. They do not contribute to the bio load of the tank and they're automatically fed when any other animal in the tank is fed. Oh, that's so cool! They like tropical water and they give us a lot of prestige. Okay, we're naming these guys after some of you. So I would like to introduce all of you to Aaron. Oh, this is so fun! I wonder what happens if uh, they might ever have some babies. That would be really cool. So we've got Aaron. Then we have Oyuki. Oh, welcome Oyuki. I'm gonna add in like at least a couple more because this is just too much fun. Then let's have two more. I hope everybody just freaks out over these. And it's Thunderstrike. Hey, Thunderstrike. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you. And then we've got Cindy. Heck. So welcome to Aaron, Cindy, Aoki, uh, Aoki uh, and Thunderstrike. I hope that you all will be extremely happy and like flourish in here. All right, so we've got all of those. Hopefully that'll help us out with the slow but sure gain of prestige that we are working on. And we actually can fit more fish in there. So if the orchids get along, do they get along with the royal gamma fish? Oh, what about the black bar soldier fish? I don't have him in with anybody. He dislikes lights, cannot be housed in a tank with a light attached. Well, that's not really a problem for us. And we can give him a little cave. So I'm gonna put like a couple of them in here and then we can do a little cave for them. 
And I think that they should be really... Oh, look at all of those! <laughs> now we're getting some prestige going. And I think we can go ahead and just make these guys kind of happy. Nice! Let's, let's get in here and see what I think. Woo! <gasps> this is so cool! Look at all of our little hermit crabs! Oh my gosh, I love them! I want to add in more. <laughs> we need to get a more powerful filter attached uh, than this one. So let's go ahead and sell. Well, actually, we can move this filter. Because this filter could possibly be used for some of these guys over here. And we're going to get a large filter right here to take care of this spot. Okay, this is going to be crab town. Or, like, this is going to be... Um, crab dance floor where all of our little crabs are just having to dance off right in there. I love that. I'm adding in a couple more. I love them. And then if we need to move them when they grow up, that's fine. All right. So next up we have Dakota. Dakota, welcome to the crab dance floor. I hope that you're ready for a dance off. It's going to be awesome. I promise. And then we have also got Theresa. Welcome! Welcome to the crab dance floor. Everybody should definitely have a good time here. I am very, very happy with uh, how this has worked out so far. <gasps> oh, they're so cute! Look at all of them! <gasps> Let's put in some decorations! Of course! We need some decorations in here! What was I thinking? Um, let's add in oh, little shells! Yes! Little shells and maybe a little anchor? Oh, and a little anchor for them to play with. Oh my gosh. I love it. Hi, guys. <gasps> oh, okay, that is fantastic. I really love that. I think we can probably put more of the uh, blue knuckle hermit crabs somewhere. But I think I actually want to make a big angelfish tank so that we can try to start pulling in a ton of the ecology that guests actually get from this. So they do not like to be housed with other flame angelfish. <laughs> Ah, which is definitely going to be a thing. So we might need to worry about that. Can we house you in here? Okay, I think we can actually house the flame angelfish in with some of our other species if we've got, like, species room. So I'm going to try that. What about this one? Oh, litter? Oh dear, one of your guests has thrown their fizzy drink litter on the ground. Build a broom stand and help your staff clean it up. What? What? We are a recycling crew around here. Do you understand? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Like, just look at what happens to my life in a raft if you would like to understand why this is such a dire, like, important situation. There's our broom stand. Sweep less. You can now reduce the amount of litter your staff spends sweeping up after your guest by placing bins around your aquarium. Like, heck, we're gonna make a mess here. This is, have you, if you need a reason to get out there and to really make a huge change in the world, just look at the chaos that happens in my adventures when I get lost at sea in Raft because it just is a gigantic mess and it's sad and, and uh, like you just look and you just see all of these, these pieces of litter and junk that are everywhere. Don't be that person, guys. Like, personally, Chips and I have tried to give up as much plastic as possible in our lives, and it, clearly it means we win! We've accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. When you arrived, it was dilapidated. You restocked it, reinvested your profits, and transformed it into an impressive aquarium you see before you. Another job offer has come in, this time from a private collector in Elmshorn, looking for an architect to design their dream aquarium. You can continue to build here in Northwoods if you'd like. No, no, no. We're ready. We're ready. Let's go. All right, guys. That was awesome. I'm really proud with what we did. Uh, but now... We are ready to be the architect of a private collector's dream aquarium next time and get very excited about learning a little bit more about what it takes to be able to run absolutely awesome, beautiful aquariums and learn more about the wonders of the natural world. So if you guys could do please leave a like and a comment if you would like to become one of our many little crabs at a crab dance off or eels or anything else here in a mega aquarium. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, 
stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.